on, y'all. This is David here at Cannonball Repair. Got a Dixie Chopper in here today. I didn't do no no video of its problems because you know it was just it had a uh, it had a, it looked like it had a shot of water in the intake and it rusted out the valve seat. So we had to lap take a head off, lap of valves in, back up and running. But I you know in depth I'm behind on lawnmowers i'm telling people i'm two and three weeks behind and it is mowing season people are just wiring me out but anyway i run into something so unique i've never seen this on a lawnmower i you know street bikes and some atvs have this i've never seen this on a lawnmower and i just i put up a picture right here As you can see in that picture, those bare wires are the ground wires to the coils. So, where they keep this lawnmower, it has, they have mice issues, obviously. And uh, so, for whatever reason, mice like to eat the insulation off wires. Well, I electrical taped them, taped them up. They'll be all right. They'll work just the same. They're, they're, they was working before. In that condition so we put some insulation on them that way you know if, if they would touch against something it won't kill a cylinder anyway got it all back together got the head on it intake muffler got it all back together wouldn't fire are you kidding me it was running whenever they showed up with it it was running weak on one cylinder had about 40 percent blow by I performed a compression test on it had 135 on one side 120 on the other it was in the good, but this something weren't quite right. So we done a leak down test, and leak down test proved that the intake valve wasn't seating or sealing. So we took a head off, seen the problem. A little water got in there, rusted the valve seat, relapped the valves, sealing up. So we put it all back together. Wouldn't fire. Had no fire. This thing was running whenever it got here. Why does it not have fire? Oh, I didn't pull the handbrake. Handbrake don't have no electrical switch. Seat don't have electrical switch. The uh, drive handles, no electrical switch. Simple electronics, but it had this one little thing. And I'm getting ready to show y'all. Blowed me away. Had me baffled. I mean, I was getting ready to pull the fan shroud back off and check and make sure that those bare wires that I showed you earlier wasn't touching something. But I'd wrapped them in electrical tape. Just didn't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to check this out. Okay, here we are, guys. It was this intake valve was leaking. It looked like at some point it had a shot of water get in there and it just sat down in there and rusted the valve seat. But anyway. I was putting it all back together, and there's a little a holder right back behind this bracket here that was holding this thing. Well, you can't hardly read it, but it looks like it says mercury on it. It's like, eh, what is it? Some kind of noise filter for, I, I don't know, whatever. So I just stuck it up in there. It wouldn't fire. Y'all watch this. Listen, this thing fire off. And uh, this is a Generac engine. Now watch this, guys. Let me do that again. Got a buzzer for the oil pressure. gotta be kidding me so if you flip this lawnmower this will save your life who'd have thought it so anyway i just want to share that with y'all if it don't run you got a mercury switch on your lawnmower you know a lot of street bikes have a tilt switch so if you know lay them over they shut off but uh and also i do know and realize that i look like grizzly adams at the moment but uh with everything that's going on in the world, nobody will cut my hair.
So, what do y'all think? Hmm. What, do you, what do you think? What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more. See y'all. Thank you.